In this live prepper self-defense training video, you're going to be using your homemade self-defense walking stick. This is just a dowel rod that you can buy at any do-it-yourself store or hardware store. This one is oak. It's an inch and a quarter in diameter, which means that it's very heavy. A heavier stick will go to hit a lot harder, a lot harder to break. When you also sand it down, you're gonna use a strong, heavy grit, like a low grit 80 sands paper. It takes off a lot of material, makes it smoother, it takes away the splinters so they don't go in your hand. And then you use a 120 grit to make it even smoother and then finish it with 220, a nice fine grit that'll make it baby bottom smooth. Then you're gonna put some linseed oil, boiled linseed oil, or some other type of oil. You can even use coconut oil is a very good option. Any kind of oil that you would use on furniture or wood to refresh and make it much happy, healthier. So from here, you're bringing your hand up right between the legs. This is the first motion that I want you to see. When your hand is here on the end, you're using it as a walking stick or a cane, a hiking stick, and you come upon the threat, threat comes upon you, your other hand is up, always stay back, and then you just bring it up between the legs. That's an opening motion, that's very fast, that's a very quick motion, it's very distracting, you can catch him off his guard. After this, put your hand here, you're simply putting it here so that you can step and thrust. I want you to get started right away, training with some basic, simple techniques, using your homemade self-defense walking stick. This is how to hit somebody with a stick, using a homemade self-defense walking stick. Your hand is here, it simply goes down the front, slides down just a little bit, taking the front of the stick, popping it up between the groin, and then thrusting into the face. From here, I want you to bring it up like this. This becomes a blocking motion. Think about the roof of a house, hitting here and not hitting here. So from here, you're going to block, and then I want you to bring it behind your back, along the shoulder, and then forward in a fast, explosive strike, hitting here in the temple to knock him unconscious so you don't have to worry about whether he has a knife or another weapon. If there are multiple attackers, you're gonna take him out first for self-defense. This is how you hit someone with a stick, using your homemade self-defense walking stick. Your hands here, goes down the front, bring it up between the legs, step in with a thrust, lift to block any counter block, any attack. He might be throwing a punch, trying to stab, this goes between you and the threat. You're gonna let it come around your back. See how this is touching my back? Touch your back with it and then swing forward. When you push in this motion, it's almost like you're doing a punch. This is gonna be a very strong motion for most people. This is gonna be strong for you. You're bringing it here and it comes out between you and the threat. If you swing it this way and he closes that distance, your arm will wrap around and it will not be effective but you're going to do it correctly. You're gonna bring it from your shoulder straight forward. And from here, if he closes that distance, this is still between you and him. You wanna keep your self-defense walking stick between you and him. You can bring the other hand back onto it, step back and thrust once again. It's almost like you're doing a push-up. From here, you bring it into your chest, strike in here, and then turn like you're chopping down a tree. You haven't knocked him out yet, you just did it, using this motion coming to the temple. This is what I want you to practice today, how to hit someone with a stick, using your homemade self-defense walking stick, step into a better position. Your stick's in the back hand, the hand slides down the front, snatch it up between his legs, put the other hand on and thrust. Block whatever counterattack he has, let it slide from your back, striking here. Pull down, thrust again, pull it in, shove and then chop 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 that should be enough to defend yourself using the homemade self-defense walking stick again this is just a dowel rod that you're going to buy there are links below if you want to see the links below i've asked my supplier to make some of these in case you don't want to make your own he's going to make them out of hickory they're going to be extremely strong or spend a little money and a little bit of sweat equity and build your own either way is good Thank you, Sam. Sam says, God bless America. God bless Canada, Sam. Sam is in Canada. God bless us all, everyone, every single country, even the ones we don't like, even the ones run by those nasty communist dictators. I was thinking of China, but you could, you could put Russia in there if you want. Anyway, any of them.
right? God bless them too. Don't support them. You know, maybe turn their heart in the right direction so you stop messing up their people. Your hand's here. It slides down the front. Snatch it up between his legs. Thrust through his face. Bring it up as a block. From here, I suggest you step off of the angle. Stepping off the angle means back foot, front foot. I'm simply taking a 45 degree turn. That gets me out of his direct line of sight. I'm gonna bring it around and smash him right in his skull for self-defense. I wanna turn off his operating system, knock him unconscious. I don't have to worry about what else he has. From here, my hand comes on front. I pull, hit him again, strike again, chop, chop, chop. And you can see my hand is palm up. You can have your hand palm down, palm up. It's not gonna make a difference. They're both gonna be right when you do it like this. Put it in your other hand and practice. Step one, get in a better position. Step two, you're going to thrust right into his face, right? Step three, your hand comes on and you're gonna block straight up. Bring it around your shoulder, strike. Put your hand here again, thrust again. Chop, two, three, and then throw it in the other hand. Snatch it up between his legs, thrust, block, step off the angle here if you want, striking, pull, thrust again. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot this one. That's my favorite one, by the way. When you take that big bar of oak, hello, Doug, and stick it right through his nose. Or maybe yours is made out of hickory. Doesn't matter. Get one made out of poplar. Buy one of these for less than $10, a little bit of sandpaper. Again, go 80 grit, 30 seconds. Just uh, fold the sandpaper around it. One day we'll make another video on how to make your own. It's so simple. 80 grit for 30 seconds. <sighs> Blow it off. 120 grit. <sighs> Get rid of that, use a rag, get rid of the dust. And then one or 220, nice and smooth. Don't forget to get the ends. Don't get any uh, splinters in your hands, right? You're also gonna build the callus. You don't have to worry about splinters. Your hands will be tough. And then oil it, oil it and soak it in oil. Or just really put a heavy um, sheen of oil, a heavy soaking of oil with your rag, right? Film, that's what I'm looking for. Heavy, heavily film the oil, let it sit every day for two or three weeks. That's gonna get all of the moisture back into the stick. When they make these and they sell them to the hardware store or the do-it-yourself store, they kiln dry it. They stick it in the kiln like they dry pottery with and then they suck all the water out of it. That's so that it doesn't rot in transit. When you get it from the hardware store, you're gonna to have to put some moisture back into it. You're gonna do that with linseed, spoiled linseed oil, any kind of mineral oil. My favorite now is coconut oil because you can have it in the kitchen to bake with, cook with, and then you use it in the shop to make your homemade self-defense walking stick. When you have to hit somebody with a homemade self-defense walking stick, you'll know how because you snatch it up between his legs, thrust, step off the angle, strike, thrust again, shove, one, two, at least three, and then you're out. Again, practice side to side, side to side, and keep coming back here. Please join if you haven't already. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of stuff. Leave a comment below and then comment on other people's comments. You guys have been great. I'll be back in just a little bit. Thank you.